In initiating narcotics cases, you never know how they will develop or where they'll eventually lead you. This case was no exception. Originating from calls to our tips line, street level heroin deals developed into a multi-agency effort crossing jurisdictional boundaries here in Chautauqua County and beyond. Countless hours of intelligence gathering and surveillance revealed an organized structure of individuals involved in the trafficking of heroin from New York City and Philadelphia into the city of Jamestown. As was previously, previously stated, at 6 a.m. this morning, teams comprised of over 120 law enforcement officers from every level of law enforcement deployed to residents throughout the city of Jamestown, Chautauqua, and Cattaraugus counties. Additionally, arrests were made in Binghamton, New York City, and Puerto Rico. In total, 41 have been taken into custody and more arrests are expected. Three residential search warrants independent of this investigation were also conducted this morning where additional heroin, cash, and stolen property were seized. Previous search warrants executed in support of this operation yielded over $30,000 in cash, prescription pills, several guns, and more than 3,000 bags, 3, bags of heroin. Some of this evidence is displayed in the table in front of you. Over the past two years, the city of Jamestown has experienced a steady increase in heroin and heroin-related crimes. As heroin has become more prevalent, we have been forced to shift our focus and our investiga investigative efforts to address this ever-growing prob problem. To put it in perspective, our narcotics investigators seized 119 bags of heroin in 2012. In 2013, that number increased to 826 bags. And to date, in 2014, we have seized 3,767 bags, along with an additional 50 grams of unpackaged heroin. The Jamestown Police Department will continue to aggressively investigate and apprehend anyone involved in the trafficking of narcotics in our city. We are dedicated to continuing our collaborative efforts with the New York State Police Community Nar Narcotics Enforcement Team, or CNET, and all of our partnerships that were developed throughout this investigation. It was refreshing to witness agencies working together in a unified effort, maintaining their focus and not losing sight of what we were here to do. I want to express my gratitude to the Department of Homeland Security, the U.S. Border Patrol, the New York State Attorney General's Office, the New York State Police, and to the members of my own department. Every agency contributed to the success of this investigation by not only providing personnel, but also making available resources unique to their respective agencies. Finally, I want to thank the members of our community for their support and their patience. Um, this morning, Moon Moonbrook Country Club provided a phenomenal facility for us to conduct a briefing. Uh, Schultz Chevrolet of Jamestown continuously supplied vehicles for us for our surveillance. And uh, most importantly, our citizens continue to provide tips to us on our tips line. Your calls continue to be an important component of our law enforcement efforts, and we encourage you to, to continue calling. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Uh, at this time, uh, any of the people who have spoken today will uh, answer any questions that any of you may have regarding this specific operation today. Uh, I just had a follow-up for the Chief and uh, the Director of Public Safety. Uh, Harry, are you able to say where the raids took place this morning? The three search warrants. Search warrant. One was on Water Street, Terry. The other one was on North Main. Which what was the third one? Water Street, North Main, and Park Street. Park Street. How much stuff has been recovered? Is this, is this all the drugs that are recovered in the 41 arrests or not? No, it is not. I do not have a total. That that amount right there was one of one of the search warrants we executed previously today. It was such a large quantity that we wanted on display. It just kind of emphasize the point of how much is actually being brought into Jamestown. So you don't have a total of what was taken off the streets today? No, yet. no, not yet. This is still ongoing. Again, we have we anticipate more arrests and we're we're compiling additional statistics. How many of how many of the people here were arrested here in Jamestown, and how many were already incarcerated? We, uh, we had six that were already incarcerated when we began the day, and then the, uh, the additional 35 were taken into custody. Um, was I believe 25 25 which? were actually arrested in the city of Jamestown. Arrests were made, again, Binghamton, Wellsville, New York City, Randolph, uh, Casadega, and uh, Mayville. So when there's 